So here we go with a new project or a new problem, whatever we want to call it. Well, we got this truck and I used to drive this truck. A friend of mine flipped it over. It's 7.3, it's a good truck. Just rolled it on top of itself. Would have to put batteries in it. Nobody likes buying batteries. But it's always in my way, sitting where it's sitting. And if it would crank him, or if I had it drivable, at least I could use it for firewood. I wonder what difference it'd make if it rained inside. And we can rip carpet out or something. Huh. So yeah, take the doors off, cut the roof off. Sound like a good idea to y'all? I just had to throw this in here. This is fruit and stuff like people live leave out for people that sleep behind dumpsters to eat. And just to show y'all how trashy the area is and where I live, like this is behind restaurants. I deliver produce for a living. And like that's my flatbed truck on the left, the tarp. And people are always out there digging through the dumpsters, you know, making messes. And this is at grocery stores. And it's just the world I live in. Cutting the roof off. We're trying to. I'm just staying on the tractor. Roof gone. Gotta get this windshield out. After I cut the roof off, I sold the truck for parts but won't nobody come pick up the truck it's just sitting out in the rain and about like the trashy stuff earlier like I feel bad for those folks and I hate they're in that lifestyle y'all hear old Betsy fired up good old home sweet home that's a great big old tree but we had a little fire damage. So I've been mildly distracted. We did get a house caught on fire yesterday. We did get a new place set. It's used, but it's really cool. But my poor old house. I've already got some of the good stuff off the porch. Burnt down. Or burnt what it is burnt. Yeah, me talking about them folks being trashy earlier. Heck, look at my house. But not for real. We've been out there like every day with cleaning up and everything. And I only rented the house, so I'm not even going to live in it. But I can't leave it just all full of my old junk. This is my closet of all 14 hand-me-down shirts I own. This used to be the bathroom. This is my sweet baby's room, my firstborn. He had all of his toys in there and John Deere paint. And then this is my wife and my room, which where the kids sleep in the bed in between us. But, and then this was Jack Jack's room. 
it was the nursery I kind of put together a little bit for my wife and like this house wasn't perfect or anything and it wasn't what she wanted but it was in a beautiful spot with wonderful trees and we had a lot of good memories there but no need to fear we still got the trains running and we got Mr. Jack tell me what your train gonna do what your train gonna do choo choo What's he going to do, Jack? Go on, Jack. <laughs> sure. Tell me, tell me choo choo. Say choo choo. Real loud, Jack. Scream it. Choo choo. Here comes the train. Rolling around the tracks. Well, you ain't gonna say choo choo or train or nothing for the camera, are you? Ain't much good for doing tricks. You know you're not much good for doing tricks. I had a dog better than that for doing tricks. I would have told that dog choo choo and he would have said burp burp. Burp 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 burp. So now Jack's watching the camera with me. They racing. They racing. All right, so we're gonna change this switch and that switch to make it go down a different route. Route. Give you. A, I'm gonna show you, like when I press a button, what it does. All right, Jack's gonna go straight. What did that train do? And if we want, we can take 31, which would be this guy, swap him over to AB. And we can park it. Mm, too long. Turn it back on. Uh oh. We're on a right train. And Jack just sped it up. Slow it down, Jack. See what Jack says about this. It's coming back. So we got this one going backwards. It's good probably to let it run backwards every once in a while. Uh oh, we had to dig Get back on. Oh no. Oh no. It all fell apart. Crash. Oh, Jack is dragging it down the tracks. Here it comes, buddy. Jack is dragging the caboose. Oh, don't turn them. Jack, look, it's dragging the caboose. You better stop it before it hits the other train. Winston always likes all of them trucks. Oh, 
You're going to put the bulldozer on the tracks. What if the bulldozer gets hit by the choo-choo train? Yeah, yeah. Oh no! It hit it! Jack! It crashed! We had an all out derail. Not all out, I guess. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Came off the tracks. How you gonna get that back on the tracks, Jack? You're going to need a jack, aren't you? Yeah, you pick it up. Drop him. Oh, we should have brought the crane trailer. Is it out? Oh, it ain't out. Let's see here, Jack. We can try that again. Oh, I can't find it. If we were shooting a full out video, we'd have to get that crane one out. I think that's got it on track. Uh, Let's go turn it on. Let's go turn it on. You wanna come turn it on? Come on, let's go turn it on. Come on. Alright, yep, it's this one over here. It's that one right there, Jack. Turn it on. It's going. Good job, Jack. It's blowing mighty fast. You ready to go home eat supper? No, I want to play with trains. You turned it off? You gotta keep turning it. Push. We'll push it. Turn it on. You're going to fall off that stool. Yeah. Hey. Let's see. All right, buckaroo. Still there. Tell me. Choo-choo. He was going crazy because there's a train down there.